Okay, so this is a local gun and I'll try this for the first time. <laughs> you give him the yes, lighter. I will shoot it. To the lighter button. Don't put too much. We go. Everybody ready? Yes. 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 Insert. Okay then. No, insert, more insert. More, no? Put it, yes. No, yes. Ready? Yes. Okay. One, two. Oh. Oh. Without uh, further ado, let us proceed with our program. And bless all the participants as we unleash the potentials and the gift of wisdom and knowledge through this exhibition. May all this be done according to your will. Commit all our life and this entire time under your care. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A very good morning to you all. I, on behalf of the Department of Science and Technology, am very much pleased to attend this program, to be a part of, to be associated in this first ever science fest. You know, it is not easy to conduct science exhibition, especially at village level. And then when I was approached, when our department was approached, I was quite happy, our brother over there at the back, I was quite happy and also I expressed my joy also to participate. Because conducting science exhibition at village, village level, it is like a Herculean task. Right now in Nagaland. Uh, we'll begin with the lady first. First, we have uh, Miss Lolan Lanla Inchen. Oh, will you please show your face? Yeah. Uh, she is a project associate and currently doing PhD from Nagaland University School of Engineering and Technology from the Department of Biotechnology. Uh, she has also previously worked as a guest faculty there. Our second guest, uh, second judge is Dr. P. Chinamutu. S sir, please. Uh, uh, sir is an assistant professor, Department of Electronics and Communication from National Institute of Technology, Nagaland. Sir actually has to travel to Japan tomorrow, but still he spared time for us and he is here with us. So thank you, thank you very much, sir. And a third judge is uh, Mr. Abel Sumi, sir. Sir is a science teacher, Department of Education from GMS uh, Hezulo, Newland. Sir is also going to travel right after this event to Bangalore. So everyone is very busy, but thank you so much for sparing your time. And we also have a special uh, guest here. Uh, he was a part of the Bollywood movie, Anek, which was re uh, released recently uh, this year, 2022, right? So he is Mr. Yuto Pichishi. Brother, please show your face to the crowd. Yeah, he's an assistant professor from Unity College, very talented person. And uh, our three judges here. First, uh, Miss Lolan Manlaim Chen. And uh... It is indeed very overwhelming to witness such youngsters having this science exhibition, so much enthusiasm, as well as so much creativity. So, before wasting much time, since we all have a, we had a series of good presentation by the earlier speaker, let me declare the exhibition open. Thank you. First, all the three judges will be doing the inspection of all the projects. After that, uh, it will be, the event will be open to the public. And I would like to request everyone to maintain uh, COVID protocols uh, since
You know, this is uh, this model is like kind of to show uh, to aware them how a single small can affect us. Today I represent my project, a generator. Mm -hmm. I have used a battery. A battery was invented in the 80s by Edison Voltar. A motor which was invented in 1834 by Thomas and a dynamo which was invented in 1826 by so big theory and a small light bulb with a resistor and with a, tra a transformer a DC a DC charger with a DC USB cable with a switch so my my project is a generator so it starts when this when my battery gives electricity to this motor it spins this battery can give up to 4 volts at once My, my phone is charging and this is an indicator of my dynamo is producing electricity or not We have the coordinator of this event and so he will be telling us about this event. So can you explain about this event? Uh, actually this is a collaboration with the Mishikto Students Union and in association with the Department of Science and Technology and particularly the IHUB, Innovation Hub and Sci uh, Space Education Center. So we are lucky enough that we, we got a lot of support from the department as well as from the student community. And so everything we are doing here is for the student community. So the winners will be awarded or? Yeah, yeah. Luckily, 
we were to, uh, thinking of just uh, organizing this event, but uh, as I've said, we received a lot of help from our community members, and we've got many sponsors. So the first uh, first uh, first prize, I think we will be giving them twenty thousand. Okay. Second prize, I think it's ten thousand, and then the third prize is five thousand. Okay. So thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Sir.
when you are fitting this one, when you might be done something experiment, right? In your home itself. So you should have seen what makes a difference. I actually am from a theater background from a drama background and we also use a lot of science uh, methodology and uh, yeah, related to science we also look into how we can actually make a performance based through science so it is really encouraging to see you all and uh, I really congratulate the Mishikito Students Union and also the Science Fraternity uh, Mishikito for taking such a major step. The winners of today's exhibition can we put a smile a little bit? Come on participants! Yeah, so I'll start with the third winner, okay? Third prize that goes to room number two, slot 10 Solar City won the third prize. Oh. Slot number nine, Floating House. Oh. And the name is Likali. Likali Asumi. Congratulations. Oh. Are we all excited? Yes. Come on, let's do it. And the first prize the winner is room number three guess the slot number 13 uses of non-conventional resources and the name is Ankato Atumi and Miss Shokiwi congratulations both of you Projects, their projects were judged, were uh, done on three uh, factors. First is materials used, second is application, and third is presentation. A very good morning to you all. First of all, giving glory and honor to our Almighty God for blessing us with this beautiful day and making our events a blessed one. Respected the resource person and everyone present here, on behalf of MSU and Science Fraternity, I'm glad to be standing here to express my vote of thanks. A special thanks to Sri Yangtambe Mokikon SDO Civil for accepting our invitation. I would also like to extend my hardest thanks to Innovations Hub Space Education Center, Department of Science and Technology, Dimabur Nagaland, for spending your valuable time and coordinating with us today. I commit everything. Enjoy loving here. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.